안녕하십니까? 건강보험 심사평가원 심사평가원 For the past two decades, HERA witnessed and took part in much of the development process of the national health insurance. I wish I had a sufficient time to share every single effort HERA exerted for better public health in Korea, but time is in short supply. But let me do my best to leverage the time I'm given to introduce HERA's roles and achievements from the past, present, and the future. Let me begin. My talk will be centered around this framework. Starting from the overview of Korea's national health insurance, I will go over the main roles and achievements of HERA for the past 20 years, followed by the future tasks of HERA. That would be the ending part of the presentation. This is some basic information about Korea. The total population of Korea is 51 million, and 15.5% of the whole population is age 65 or older. According to OECD statistics in 2018, Korea's national health expenditure in GDP per capita is 7.5%. This slide illustrates the history of national health insurance. It is essential to bring up the NHI program in order to talk about universal health coverage in Korea. Korea adopted the first medical insurance program in 1977 for large companies with 500 or more employees. In only 12 years, Korea achieved universal health coverage for the entire population. But up until 2000, there still were multiple insurers. And in 2000, Korea integrated all insurers and built a single-payer system. The Health Insurance and Review and Assessment Service was born to provide high-quality health care services to the public through fair review and assessment service. This slide shows the governance structure of Korean NHI system. As you can see, the Ministry of Health and Welfare is the supervisor of the program, and it enacts and revises relevant laws. HERA reviews and assesses the claim statements received from providers and sends the result to NHIS. Upon the review result, NHIS provides reimbursement to providers. Let's take a closer look at the different roles of NHIS and HERA. HERA is given authority over claims review and assessment, while NHIS is given authority over benefit payment. NHIS is responsible for collecting contribution, negotiating with providers for fee level, and promoting better health for the public. On the other hand, HERA makes the rules for benefit monitors the healthcare service delivery, manages the healthcare system infrastructure. NHIS and HERA are two separate organizations in charge of different responsibilities, but there are many areas where they are connected for more efficient operation. Currently, Korea reached almost 100% of population coverage, but considering services and cost dimension, Korea reached only 64% of UITC as of 2018. The access of medical service is extended due to introduction of new healthcare technologies so that there are no big change in coverage in NHI despite the continued fiscal input. There is a reason why listing of new healthcare technology is important through assessment, and we are focused on preparation of systematic and objective assessment procedures. The main characteristics of Korea's NHI system is as follows. First, it covers the entire population under the single-payer system with all essential services. Second, the majority of healthcare service providers are private, but all providers must 
enroll under national health insurance according to the Medical Service Act. That's why we could effectively control private dominant health care system. Third, HERA is an independent commissioning organization with an advanced ICT system to handle most tasks digitally. And lastly, the main payment system of Korea is V4 service. Additionally, in August 2017, the government introduced Mooncare to further expand NHI coverage. Mooncare aims to raise the NHI coverage rate from 62.7% in 2017 to 82.7% by 2022. In 2018, the policy successfully reduced national health expenditure in GDP by 18% and NHI uncovered medical bill by 64%. This slide captured some of the main functions of HERA for the past 20 years. HERA performs its main functions based on highly advanced ICT HERA system. On this slide, we can see that HERA is doing and what kind of data are utilized within its system. HERA's main functions include benefit claim collection and electronic review and close review, quality assessment based on evidence, DUR for safe use of drugs, Big data service for internal and external support. Each system is connected to HERA Big Data to generate valuable data. The connection is organic, so they can produce valuable data efficiently. HERA Big Data consists of medical review, provider info, quality assessment data, drug review information, uncovered service, and external information. Now, we will have a closer look at each functions, starting from claims review. Here are claims review aims to prevent any waste, improve public health, and keep healthcare cost at an adequate level. As such, claims review process checks clinical validity and cost effectiveness. And if claimed treatment costs are accurately calculated following the benefit criteria set by HERA. To briefly describe the process, submitted benefit claims undergo electronic checkup and electronic review, and then close review, and the re review results are notified to NHIS and providers. Along with the process, we're conducting preventive activities through pre-check. And even after a review is finished, other relevant data are checked again, and HERA conducts post-management, such as on-site investigation to prevent any fraudulent claims. As a result, in 2018, HERA helped save $1.53 billion, which is equivalent to 1.96% of the total claimed amount. HERA IT system could reduce overall labor costs by improving productivity and enhance consistency in review results and efficiency. The second function to discuss is quality assessment. Quality assessment is one of HERA's key tasks with claims review. QA prevents providers overuse, underuse, and misuse of care and bridges the gap between providers to have an upward leveling effect. HERA utilizes QA results to operate pay for performance in order to enhance quality of care efficiently. These graphs explain how 
QA improved the performance of quality indicator outcomes. Despite the fact that Korea uses fee-for-service, the total national health expenditure remains lower than that of OECD average. Korea's life expectancy is higher than the OECD average, while the infant mortality rate is lower. Next part is about drug utilization review. DUR provides real-time check on drug use at the point of prescription and dispensing. By doing so, DUR prevents drug misuse by informing doctors and pharmacists about drug safety. For example, when doctors describe drugs, DUR checks for contraindication, age precaution, pregnancy precaution, and duplication and other matters. DUR can cross-check different prescriptions from different clinics where patients visited previously before coming to that clinic. If risk factors are found, the information is sent to the provider's computer screen in a pop-up window almost real-time with 24-7 operation. Turning to achievements of DUR, as of 2019, DUR prevented 4,785 cases of inappropriate drug use, and also DUR system played a significant role in the nation's effort to prevent the spread of COVID-19, and there will be a separate session about this later today. This slide is a flow chart of KPIS, Korea Pharmaceutical Information Service. KPIS collects and manages distribution data of drug-related information from product production, import, supply, and sales. This is possible because all manufacturers and importers are obliged to report to Korea Pharmaceutical Information Service. With the transparency secured throughout the distribution process, we are able to prevent counterfeit drugs, rebate, which is kickbacks, illegal distribution, and also we can identify location and volume of problematic drugs in a short time. This is an example where DUR and KPIS were used successfully. In July 5th of 2018, the European Medicines Agency and U.S. FDA announced that false sartan manufactured by Chinese pharmaceutical company was found to have calcinosin and announced its recall. In response, Korea conducted survey of current status and found that the firm's drug substance was imported to Korea. The Ministry of Food and Drug Safety issued a warning, a warning letter on July 7th. And Taiwanese Ministry of Health and Welfare and Korea's MFDS carried out investigation and found that two more manufacturers had the same issue. Care to guess how long it took for Korea to stop using drugs containing Varsartan in question, and how many patients could replace them with safe drugs? Within a day, prescription and dispensing of the drugs were stopped, and 99% of patients received safe drugs as replacement. As I mentioned before, such a fast move for such a fast move was possible because the 92,000 providers and 51 million populations were all connected to the UR network. <laughs> Lastly, we will look at the HERA big data system. The source information of HERA big data system comes from benefit claims, 
claims review and assessment, DUR, and patient information. In the data ingestion layer, these data go through the processes of extraction, transformation, and loading. In the storing layer, each data marked is processed with modeling and then sent to analysis layer or service linkage layer. In analysis layer, OLAP and AI systems analyze the analysis, shares the result, and send them to service layer. In the service layer, information portal performs various functions, including visualization, indicator monitoring, and monitoring criteria management. When needed, data in service layer are sent to analysis or storage layer. Next part is about how to utilize the big data. Here our big data covers all service providers, so it is useful for public organizations, citizens, and health sector in general across the industry. To promote public health, here our data are shared with other public organizations in real time. For example, HERA shares information of a person suspected of death with Social Security Information Service. So the agency can prevent budget leaks due to duplicated reception of social assistance services. With Korean Red Cross and Human Tissue Banks, HERA shares patient treatment and drug administration history. The institutions can check if the patient took drugs on the deferral list or if they have dangerous diseases, uh, preventing any medical accidents and protect public health. The real-time data transfer has contributed greatly to protecting better health. Before I explain that HERA's main functions were enabled thanks to HERA system based on advanced ICT. In this slide, I'd like to summarize HERA's roles from the perspective of HERA system. The first is Healthcare Data Acquisition System, HDAS. This system collects the healthcare data from providers and optimizes all the data for easy use. Second, Health Data Review and Assessment System, HRAS. This is the system used for claims review and quality assessment. Third, KPIS, Korea Pharmaceutical Information System. KPIS tracks and traces nationwide drug distribution. The fourth is DUR, Drug Utilization Review System. DUR ensures safe use of drugs and prevents adverse effects occurred in the prescription and dispensing process. Fifth, provider integrated profiling system called PIPS. PIPS system provides relevant information to healthcare providers to encourage them to enhance service quality. Last but not least is HBIG, healthcare big data system. Once the healthcare data are collected, HBIG shares the collected and processed healthcare data with government organizations, researchers, and businesses. As a result, HERA system contributes to the sustainability of National Health Insurance Fund. To be more specific, Korea also faces the challenges of increasing aging population 
and the burden of non-communicable diseases and cost of new drugs and technologies. However, Korea could contain the growth of health expenditure at a manageable level with HERA system, and the actual health expenditure is kept well below than planned amount. Since the establishment of HERA, the gap between the projected and actual healthcare expenditure has continued to grow, reaching USD 15 billion. Also, the growth rate of health expenditure fell by 18.8% between 1989 and 2000 to a compound average growth rate of 10.4 percent between 2000 and 2017. This is why HERA system became the benchmark to follow for many countries. Here is an example of international cooperation. HERA system itself was an export item for Bahrain as the nation to take an implant system in their environment. In 2017, joint project between SCH and HERA began, and the system launched in August. There are three systems built in Bahrain, which included health insurance claims review and monitoring, in drug distribution management system, and also a system for drug safety and inventory management. Bahrain system is remarkable in that it has national EMR system, which stores all health data in the nation. And SUN Sun system performs analysis on the data to support policy decision with evidence. Based on this system, Brain is expected to achieve valuable results as Korea did with its digital health strategy. The expected results are as follows. Ensuring transparency and accountability of national healthcare system continuous quality improvement of care, monitoring and controlling healthcare expenditure, equity of accessibility to care with patient empowerment, and lastly, interoperability of existing various e-system. As such, Bahrain will build an integrated and sustainable health insurance system. Here are the five values achieved by HERA's effort. HERA's main systems, claims review, assessment, big data, healthcare resource management, are organically connected to HERA's roles and functions and produced diverse outcomes. In other words, throughout the past 20 years, HERA successfully conducted strategic purchasing, healthcare quality improvement, healthcare resource management, and value creation by utilization of healthcare data. And by doing so, HERA could achieve its ultimate goals of controlling of healthcare expenditure quality control of healthcare service and patient-centered healthcare service. In conclusion, HERA could add five major values to public health. First, HERA secured financial sustainability. Second, HERA achieved value for money. Third, HERA protected patient safety. Fourth, HERA secured transparency, and fifth, HERA opened its massive data to the public. We've seen what HERA has achieved for the past two decades. Now, shall we move to the goals for HERA that 
will be aspired for the next 20 years. Hira has achieved so much while performing its own roles for the past 20 years. So what are the basic principles for Hira's next 20 years? My proposals are as follows. First, Hira will conduct claims review based on its principles. Second, Hira will conduct quality assessment based on fair criteria. Third, Hira will make coverage decision and manage prices in order to enhance and expand NHI coverage. Fourth, Hira will perform a comprehensive healthcare infrastructure management on workforce, facility, device, and pharmaceutical distribution. Fifth, Hira will ensure transparency in medical bills and medical bill checking process. And lastly, Hira will continue to collaborate with the international community for collaboration and research. Based on the six principles, Hira is committed to continuing and further developing its roles and responsibility. Based on the basic principles laid on the previous slide, Hira will perform following tasks going forward. First, Hira will adapt to the fourth industrial revolution of healthcare. In the face of revolution, Hira will prepare a system to enable innovation in public data use and minimize restrictions on data use by building and opening a new generation healthcare big data on cloud services. Second, Hira will protect NHI fund stability by improving healthcare delivery system and claims review system. In particular, Hira will come up with countermeasures in response to the gr growing healthcare expenditure from strengthening primary care and community care. Hira will also upgrade the review system. Third, Hira will develop patient centered healthcare systems and indicators. In March 2019, at the fourth Global Ministerial Summit on Patient Safety, WHO member nations adopted the Declaration on Patient Safety. As such, here I decided to include patient safety for better health. In 2020, COVID-19 hit hard everyone in the world, including viewers. We are waging a war. The providers are doing their best from where they are, and the government is coming up with quarantine measures. And our citizens are doing their best from what they do. COVID-19 and response measures are closely related to HERA's roles. HERA will do everything it can do to win this battle against the disease. On this slide, we can find things that can be done the best by Hira and what Hira should do when we come out of this pandemic. Firstly, Hira will build sustainable infrastructure to respond to outbreak of infectious diseases. I might be bragging, but as of July 2020, Hira has dispatched 181 employees to help respond to COVID-19, which greatly helped prevention effort. But Hira will go beyond just temporary dispatching and build infrastructure and workforce specialized in infectious disease prevention so the nation is better prepared and equipped with prompt countermeasures. Secondly, in a situation of COVID-19 and pandemic, public service becomes even more important. And 
the function of private hospitals should be quickly included in public health effort because we are aiming the same thing. Therefore, in the outbreak of infectious disease, HERA will analyze supply and demand of healthcare services in the outbreak of infectious disease. Thirdly, HERA will search for infectious diseases management system by researching. So we are ready in advance. By data analysis, we can act preemptively and such preemptive efforts could go a long way in our response measures. With the ICT system, we will maximize the use of it and open our data. So we will do our best to act in advance and preemptively. This is about post-COVID era when we come out of this pandemic. We will take, we will change the way we work in preparation for post-COVID-19. As we are faced with the new normal caused by COVID-19, HERA will adopt new ways of working. Right now, we are hosting our international conference and training course on the online platform. We already built the untacked smart work environment in many parts of our country. And also, in response to the new era, HERA will introduce a new paradigm for review and assessment. HERA will identify and adopt the review and assessment system that are optimized for public health operation, which inevitably will play a pivotal role in times of pandemic. To that end, we should redefine the concepts of appropriate healthcare services and essential healthcare service. Lastly, The COVID-19 pandemic resulted in unusual pattern of healthcare expenditure. When you were confirmed with the result, with the virus, you didn't have to pay the fee for the treatment. The co-payment was paid by the government and local government. Therefore, theoretically, the patient didn't have to pay when confirmed with the virus. To be able to ready for such cases, we have to manage our fund efficiently. And the nurse, staff, and facilities should be managed well, also needed to be upgraded. The fee schedule has to be set with appropriate ways. In conclusion, we need to make sure that healthcare spending is done in an efficient manner and fund stability is not affected. So far, we've gone through HERA's roles and achievements over the past 20 years and for the coming years. Lastly, when we look back our history of national health insurance, the first version was introduced in 1977, and in 1989, the system was completed. And there was separation of prescription and dispensing in 2000, and single-payer system was completed in 2000. And in the same year, NHIS and HERA were launched, and we are celebrating the 20th anniversary. When you are children, toddler, teenager, up until you become 20, you are going through trials and errors. You are allowed to make mistakes. You learn a lot until you get there. But once you are 20, you are a grown up, and there are different roles. Hira will take its responsibility as an adult, and for the coming 20 years, 
Kira will do its best to serve the public with much responsibility to support better health for everyone. Thank you.